Yo, 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 what up, what up, good morning, good morning, GM, GM, Monday, February 19th, 2020, four, 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 look at that, another beautiful day to have a beautiful day, it's actually another wonderful day, to have a wonderful day. I wake up, I check price, good price. No matter where I'm looking, I look outside, it's sunny. I look at my schedule, I'm flying to Paris tonight. Woo, what a day. What a beautiful day to have a beautiful day today. The sun is shining in Montreal. The sun is clearly shining in London. Rare, shining yeah, in- Yeah, I just gotta close the windows a bit. It's a lot of sun in my face, just sunny and stuff. <laughs> And I go by coast in the house. As you can hear it, OSF, Mando, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing amazing, man. What, what a great weekend. What about you? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. It is, I guess it is. It, today, we are celebrating uh, presidents. It's President's Day in America. I'm a president now, so it is, it is by default my day as well. Uh, Man- <laughs> Mando is bringing the sun. Yeah, this is just on my- there you go. There you go. Hold on. Stevie Wonder's back. Stevie Wonder's <laughs> back. Let's go. We are so. <laughs> that was a good. Imp- Yo, that was actually pretty good. I'm going to need to catch that one. Okay. Per- Dude, the screenshots of Mando on this show just get better every day. Like, I got to say, like, they just get better and better every single day. The emotes we got going on in the group chat are so funny. I love that. Ovi. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, I'm doing well, thanks. Um, yeah. Busy yeah. week. It's a busy week. I'm trying, just trying to do as much as I can in before the next Paris. three days before Paris. Yeah, because I know I'll get zero work done in Paris. So, I mean, it's just different kind of work, right? It's like, it is, you know, some, it is somewhat work. You guys are launching you know, their drinks this week. You know, it's still work. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's still work. It's, we're going to, let's, let's, I mean, let's talk about that. Let's talk about it for a second here because I saw Mando make a post. Uh, as well, you put it out there. I mean, what are this fully ready to go? Big event, yeah, Thursday? yeah. So, yeah, all the drinks are manufactured here. Have one, have one right here. Let's go. See, there's a little, um, a little so, ret, ret guy in every drink. What's the name of the flavor? Liquidated lime. So, it does okay. It says <laughs> this weekend, I thought I was so smart. I texted you guys and I was like, yo, guys, your next flavor should be called Liquidate Me. Or something like that. And then someone said, bro, like, that's literally the name of the flavor. And I yeah. was like, oh. And I deleted my message, so you may have not seen it. <laughs> I thought I was so smart. I was like, dude, honestly, I thought I was so smart. You know those moments? You're like, oh, my God, I'm a genius. Texting you guys, like, guys, guys, call the next thing. Liquidate me. And yeah. It's anyway. a funny one because, like, because of all the compliance and labeling issues. You have to, yeah. if you call a drink something weird, you have to, like, watch out for it. But liquidated obviously has a double meaning it's just like it could yeah. be a liquid version of lime it's not that's not yeah. offensive um, yeah. or it could just be even liquidated so hey, let me um, tell you i can't wait to spike what my, does it taste my... like? I, haven't, I haven't had i had one of the samples but i haven't had one recently what does it taste like yourself it's it's really good i'm a i'm definitely a, a flavored sparkling water connoisseur i, I it's something i drink <laughs> a lot and <laughs> yo the next one has got to be mango <sighs> oh the ma- yeah, i'd love to do a mango one you got to do a mango one and oh, call it about- oh, you yeah. We've got yeah. to do mango. How did we not do mango to start, actually? Well, I think you want a. We wanted to do a flavor that was a bit more. Um, yeah, that's true. A wider audience than just. There is a white claw. One of the white but... claws in the twelve pack is mango, and it's not that bad. And I'm yeah. not a mango guy. Um, yeah. It's but good, you guys, no, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe mango something. I don't know. Mango. I don't know. Mangalorian. I don't know. Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah. Massive mangoes. Massive. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what vibe I get from. Oh, margin called mango. <laughs> margin called mango. Yeah, I like that. Oh, and there's need to be a ruggy raspberry. No, that's not. My, that's not yo, that, Ru- ruggy raspberry is actually very good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. So let me take a screenshot of these two because that's Hefner and BLA. So hold on, let me take a screenshot. Of these. There you go. Let me send them in the in the chat for us three. These people are equity owners. You know, these come help us with whatever you can. Hey, <laughs> if you own a red guy at the time of the snapshot, you literally are gonna get a piece of equity from the from from red guy red 
brands, right? Rec brands, right? From Rec brands. Rec brands, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rec brands. Brands. yeah. Exactly. So so that's that's pretty cool. Look, I love to see that. I love to see it. I I'm starting to like the little narratives, the little like, movies and next like, looking at yeah, let's go. But <laughs> It kills me, dude. It's so funny. Uh, but like, you love to see that, and um, and uh, and it's a lot of fun. I can't wait. Are, they're gonna be the drinks in Paris, right? Like, there's gonna be a bunch of them to try. Yeah. So we're we're, we're doing oh, wait, three the things. Purpose of the bar is. You see that comment? Shout out to the Five NC crew. <laughs> Who's that? Who, who, who wrote that? Jason. Guys Jason Law. That's where we used to work. Uh, so yeah. That's What's Five NC. God, you gotta been there. You gotta oh, been there, man. Five <laughs> North Colonnade. Five North Colonnade. Um, that's where we used to work. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, well, I guess it's one of your old, like, work partners. Yeah, Jason Law. Wow. Shout out, shout out, Jason. Shout out, Jason. Uh, shout out to Five NC Crew, gang, gang. So you were saying, Ovi. I mean, while we're on the topic of Paris, like, what yeah. what do you guys got going on in Paris? Right. So Thursday night we have the Rex Drinks launch party. If you're in a ret guy, a tabs, or any OSF art, you can claim a ticket on Token Proof. Just look at my tweets or look at the ret drinks tweets. Friday day, we are going to be the drink sponsor for Web3 FC. So there's a five-a-side football tournament organized by the Web3 FC um, guys. So we're going to be playing in that. Um, we have a team for that. And we're going to have a bunch of ret drinks over there as well. And then during the entire NFT Paris event itself we are collaborating with the one and only rug radio guys and we have a little wrecked drinks bar area um alongside all the stuff you guys have cooking up there so um if you want to try the drinks launch party on thursday come to nft paris during the day um or come to the web3 fc thing on uh, on, uh, okay. on friday as well okay. we'll have a bunch of drinks for people to try brother marketing of this has been so good you know i'm a big brand guy i like mm. this I like this a lot. I like got our brand team on this one. We got our brand yeah. team on this one. The AI is working, bro. I love that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> but that was exciting. This is exciting to see. I love that. So you're going to be able to see the lads uh, a lot uh, this week if you are coming to Paris. And speaking of Paris, I guess I'll just run down uh, our own shit as well since we're doing a bunch of stuff together. Um, we have um, Thursday, so the Our House, we're bringing it back. Our House Paris, out the outpost. Big shout out to the outpost uh, for letting us use their premises, which is fire. Some pretty crazy panels going on. A lot of great people coming on, uh, a lot of friends, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and of course, shout out to the partners making this happen. And what's going to be fun for everyone, it's honestly the, the conference. Like we're, we're all there together. So we're sharing booths. There's going to be the rec, there's a custom made rec drinks bar. Uh, which I haven't seen the physical yet, but I've been part of the whole, like, I've been showing you guys, like, the booth creation and thing. It's looking good. It's looking good. So you're going to be able to get your rec drinks at the booth. And, you know, on our end, we have a podcast studio that we're building at the booth. So, like, you'll be able to see myself, the boys, Thread Guy, fucking Mika, like, everybody out there hosting uh, cool stuff. <laughs> pumping pineapple is not bad. I'm not going to lie. Ruggy Raspberry, pumping pineapple. Pumping pineapple is good. I, I like margin, call, margin call manda, uh, man, <laughs> margin call manda, mango. <laughs> Ruggy Raspberry. Pumping pineapple, dude. That, that should, we, should we just have Mando mango, or just Mando's mangoes? Mando's mangoes. Yo, Mando's mangoes. That's a so that's a different good. product. <laughs> Mando's mangoes, bro. Those are ew. Mando's. <laughs> Anyways, Mando's mangoes. Back to our stuff. So we'll be together at the conference. You'll be able to get some cool stuff. And on twenty fourth, we have another event. So we. Uh, you know, we pretty much took over a casino in the spirit of uh, the space. So we're doing an event inside of a casino. It's gonna be pretty fun, right? Nice. <laughs> that's gonna yeah. be, yeah, that's gonna be a on, big one. on the Champs Elysees. So I, I, I can't wait for that. So it'll be fun. So Rug Radio, cool. the crib, wrecked guy, is gonna be everywhere in Paris. Um, literally everywhere. Like you guys have, it's true. You guys have the football and everything. So <laughs> definitely I'm, a recall on Mando's mango. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like drinking man Mando's mangoes. No, it's not Mando's mango. It's Mando mangoes. Wait, mango's mando's. Man Mando's mangoes. Mando's Mando mangoes. Two of them. I I'm not sure I always feel the Mando man man. You don't want to drink them? I pause. Uh okay, today on the show today, today. Uh <laughs> what are we what's on the show today? Sim! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh damn, I got logged out of my rug radio email. I can't even look at the FOMO hour sheet. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. Out of security. Like Let's every start with the obvious one. Let's start with the obvious one, which is Yuga. 
Yuga. Yuga. Um, yeah, you're right. Yuga. Oh, dude, I forgot. You know what? I got reminded that Yuga bought Moonbirds five minutes before the show. Because I because we talked about it so much this weekend that I'm already over it. But we're yeah. gonna talk about that. <laughs> we're gonna yeah, talk. Yeah. About, you know, the captain. They 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 hooked it. They, they they secured it. You know, they started the convoy. They hosted six hours. They shut it down. And then there was the fucking town hall, and they cooked. Shout out to Captain and uh, and Steve for that. But anyways, we're going to so ETH is pumping. Love to see that. So ETH, Bitcoin, all of it. You look at price, good price. Everything's up. We're at twenty nine hundred this morning. You absolutely love to see that. WLD Worldcoin. World coin, uh, that, that went that went crazy. So I don't know what's happened there. So market cap, we're gonna, market recap. We'll talk about this quickly. We're gonna glance over NFTs, Bitcoin, ETH, and Solana. And then last but not least, uh, of course, not last but not least, but we have Yuga Labs acquiring Proof Ecosystem. Some thoughts here from Mendo and Ovi, uh, and maybe myself. But I don't know. I feel like I've shared my thoughts already. But we'll be talking about it. Uh, and so then, Sims is just gaming and altcoins, just gaming, gaming, gaming. I know. <laughs> You know, Sims is trying to. Sims is like Sims has too much power, bro. He keeps adding his coins in the topics here, thinking we won't catch up on that. Uh, he 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 loves it when you talk about Zai. Um, <laughs> playing. Last but not least, uh, Agoria. Agoria is going to be joining us. Can't wait to see Agoria in France. But you know, to talk about what he's got going on with the Musée d'Orsay, which uh, Ilan, one of the co-founders of the Crip, was telling me that he went and saw it yesterday, um, and apparently it's it's really sick. Uh, what they've got going on over there in France. So there's something else happening in Paris this week. So anyways, as usual, so we're, 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 we've decided we're going to give money away. So we're giving away 250 bucks today. So uh, bottom right, purple box, shout out to Rollbit as usual for, for supplying the money that we're giving to y'all. Uh, and, you know, we're just retweet the space. And if you're in here at the end of it, we'll get, you can win 250 bucks. And if you're not here, then not only do you miss out on the amazing content, but you miss out on 250 bucks. Let's go. Let's get this party started. And uh, let me see, who am I going to go to first here for the market report? Which one of you is feeling more, feeling more chatty about the market this morning? I mean, I can, I can do it. I've been doing the, the minutes every single day. For the on, on. Who is the man? That Never heard of those. Is the man. <laughs> so yeah gm everyone it was um it was a good uh weekend if you're listening to the show i think we both said on friday that uh that the market was probably going to head lower um just because you know uh the weekdays is where the etf is buying and there was going to be no etf buying for a few days um the market really did um get a little bit scary there for a minute on saturday everyone started freaking out over eth moving what was it? 3%. Um, it went down to 2,700 area. Um, I think Bitcoin went to just above 50 K and Solana went down to about 106, 105 area. Um, and then everyone remembered the ETF is going to be buying another two and a half billion this week. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so that funny. happened. That realization happened late on Saturday or later on Saturday. Obviously today is a, is actually a close for us markets. It is president's day. Um, not a close rug radio, but it is a close for global markets. And you saw, um, maybe, maybe, um, I, it could be a little, we bounced back a lot. So ETH went all the way back up to 2,900 plus it's hanging out around that area. Now, Bitcoin, when Bitcoin went up to 52 K slides up at 114, 115 area. Um, funding has gone quite a lot higher during this period. Um, we're compared to the start of the month, uh, it used to cost about, between let's say around 10% per year to fund a Bitcoin long, it's now around 20%. It's the same for ETH Solana. So it's been about a two to three X increase in funding since the start of the month. So funding has definitely increased. It's not at absolutely crazy levels, but it's definitely increased. Part of that I think is also that it goes, tends to go up on a, on a weekend anyway, because the, the, the amount of spot buying that happens on the weekend from the ETFs obviously isn't there, but we're definitely at a more precarious point here in terms of funding and, um, you've had various people point to the idea we're probably going to have to have a bit of a, a slowdown here, um, a dip, just because of, of how funding has gone. But to me, it's not crazy. The best way to look at this is the funding rate heat map, which is just above. Yeah, I would click on that. Um, yep, you you get, you'll get a general sense. Like It's looking a little bit more yellow. It's not looking horrific. Um, if, you, if you expand that to like you know a, a longer time uh, period, you get to see. But... I still think we've got legs in this before uh, a full-on funding reset. Uh, ETH has obviously been leading the charge. It's really been ETH outperforming everything except AI and gaming. AI and gaming, I mean, it is 
some of this stuff is just going absolutely nuts. So um, Sora, obviously, buying, man, to- buying AI and gaming, AI and gaming. I'm, I'm a, you know, I, I'm about to pivot to AI here and gaming it, as well. It's it does feel on. like Ryan Carson should have stayed in uh, in in crypto, but just into crypto AI rather than gone full AI. But um, you've seen that the biggest leader here is is um, Tau. Bitensa, but you, then you've had a bunch of other smaller coins, which have been FET. FET um, is a uh, oracle related to AI agents that's gone up to uh, around one billion dollar uh, market cap. Wow. Um, all of these coins, are like look at that seven day. Um, I think the total size of that sector is about fifteen billion now. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can see which is up about ten percent a day, right? <laughs> like <laughs> just, that. That used to be less than wow. five five billion. Um, it is, wow. is rapidly increasing, and every kind of shilly low cap with anything to do with AI is also just absolutely sending right now. So it really does feel a bit frothy in that sec- sector. Um, I would say it's a little bit difficult to work out what's going on. Similarly, in the gaming sector, uh, also up about ten percent. Um, a lot of new coins are launching, so we've had a, some huge launches over the last few weeks. Um, that obviously started with Zai, but then you since that you've had Mavia, you've had today you had the Pixel launch, which is a token on the Ronin blockchain. Uh, that's at two and a half billion. Um, you saw Portal trading at, uh, in pre market, um, traded up at one billion. Who knows where that ends? Like gaming and AI, if you can catch this sector right now, it's they're really moving. Beam, Beam's another one that's done about a, a three four x since we were speaking about it on the show. Um, at the highs all, all around. I think Zai actually is asking for another 200 to $400 million from the Arbitrum Foundation to help build out uh, yeah. gaming. Yeah, what? well, they're asking for more money to help build Zai? out gaming on Arbitrum. They've asked the Arb Foundation, yeah. Wait, Sobi? I don't know if it's him. I think they're looking to invest with that money it's not it's not a it's not like a I see that. I, uh, Sobe's asking for 200 million dollars in the minutes man uh, the yeah. minutes? what do you mean they're asking for more money basically to help build out our gaming obviously our originally had gaming in in the magic ecosystem but since then zyde's kind of taken over as the biggest okay. coin but they're asking to help build it out more um and the our foundation is you know they're in the fucking money they've got a ton of money so the idea of building it out um uh, seems like an obvious one. So you've had a bunch of those tokens start to move. Today you have the Stark Starknet airdrop. That's also been put in there. Jesus Starknet, right. Starknet is trading at eighteen billion dollars, um, uh, fully diluted market cap pre pre launch. So all that fud, no one seems to really care. Um, that will be launching today. So that will be the biggest airdrop of all time at eighteen billion. Um, let's see how that trades uh, after it launches. And then finally, Worldcoin. Worldcoin is worth more than Solana. Yeah, so uh, can you tell me what's going on there? I haven't followed it all. Worldcoin has got a fully diluted market cap of $75 billion right now. Um, if you go on to CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko, you it's could see... It's showing on top. That's so funny. Huh. Um, yeah, so Worldcoin obviously is, is co-founded by Sam Altman. We were highly critical of the way it launched. It's obviously a, a, like a retina scanning identity uh, blockchain um it's meant to be about like creating a digital identity which is probably yours uh and ever since firstly it pumped when altman got back into the open ai seat there's a lot of things going on in ai right now but open ai is about to do about an 80 billion dollar funding round and it just released sora um and uh people are just assuming that this thing is gonna just be huge but yeah Worldcoin only has a $1 billion current market cap, roughly. Um, but it has a $70 billion fully or $75 billion fully diluted market cap. So, oh. and obviously, all this supply is going to be coming over the coming years, but it is um, pretty crazy to see that. Like, it's, it is literally the full, I mean, the third biggest, by the way, is Tether. So, really, you're talking about the third biggest crypto in the world um, in Worldcoin. <laughs> In terms of fully diluted market cap, there, dude, that's so wild. Dude, that, that is that, wild. So it's, that's it's moved up about one hundred and fifty percent. It was already high. And then, um, it's moved up about one hundred and fifty percent in the last week. So it's been a big, big move in in that. Um, so quite a lot going on, and obviously that's kind of related to the whole AI move as well. So it's 
AI and and uh, and and uh, gaming. Those are the two that are just are just yeah getting absolutely sent. Man, that is so crazy. This world coin stuff. I saw that too. I saw an article. I think um, the crypt posted about it, and I was like, what? And I was I was I was gonna come here to ask you about what the hell's going on there. There it is. Work coin token surged forty percent following uh the lo- since the launch of uh, of uh which is really really wild. Um, it's it's insane to see. It's insane to also think that just like a couple months ago they like fired the whole Sam Altman thing is like recent. It's not that old, right? When was it? December was it? I forgot, I forgot when it was, but. November, like it wasn't that long ago, the whole Sam Altman thing. I have to say something real quick though. Uh, <laughs> this is this is what happens when when your company gets acquired by Yuga Labs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> dude, I've been wearing my hat on the side forever. Yeah, <laughs> this is proof. Yuga. <laughs> Right, representing the bird let's go <laughs> i have to say the whole time like mando was trying to deliver like a very serious like market report i couldn't stop but laughing and it was not because of what mando was saying i was laughing because i was looking at sam 9059 on the stream with his hat sideways and i thought it was hilarious <laughs> i was like yeah <laughs> before before announcing you no longer work a proof after announcing I could work. <laughs> Obviously, it's all jokes. It, it, it's in good faith, but I just thought that the hat was funny. What's up, Sam? Good morning. How you what doing? What up, homie? Dude, it's crazy, Amanda. You just like riffed. Up. Like these numbers are just insane. Yeah. You know, it's. I, I gave this example on Tyler's podcast the other day. You know, during the everyone always talks about how uh, it compares like sometimes compares crypto to like the internet bubble. And everyone's like, yeah, you had like Pets.com, and then you had stuff like Amazon that made it. You know, Pets.com maxed out. Maximum market cap pets, pets.com ever got to was $400 million. That was the absolute pico top. Like we have shit that like is worth less than, than pets.com hitting $500 million. Like every time you wake up in the morning, like the amount, the velocity of money and just the, the speed with which people assign just absolutely massive valuations in this space. It's, it's insane. It, it, like there's nothing else like it. There's probably never been anything else like it. It is absolutely bananas. I am. Um, I used to trade PetSmart, which I think owns pets.com. No, nah, PetSmart's a real company, man. Come Does on. PetSmart own pets.com? No. We used to take the valuations of, of, uh, of pets.com and apply it to PetSmart. But yeah, it was pretty, yeah. it was like the PetSmart bonds were like insane. They were just go to like crazy, crazy levels because everyone's like, ah, oh, we love Well, PetSmart pets. and Petco are like actual big box retailers, like Best yeah, Buy just yeah. for dogs, you know? <laughs> like it's yeah, exactly. it's just like, it's very different from Pets.com. Too. But yeah, I guess they have the same uh, four letters that start them. Yeah. That's what we yeah. need, man. <laughs> that is, I mean, let's start, let's start a meme coin here, man. We'll all get rich. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw someone pumping Zai on the timeline just because it has AI in the name. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I literally, I, I'm about to stop. That's where we are. That's where we are. I, what I'm gonna do okay. is I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make a typo in media, and it's gonna be me AI, M A I AI, dreams. You know, dreams. and uh, and so what I'm gonna do is uh, is we've decided with Loxy this morning. Shout out to shout out to Fearful for the f- incredible idea here. Is saying why don't you just instead of calling your company you know media company, it's a media company. You know, it's a little typo when you type it. Doesn't sound good on writing, but in writing, it's fine. A little typo. Get the people uh, going. Get the you people. Know? You know, again, again. <laughs> no one knows what it is. <laughs> it's provocative. Um, <laughs> speaking of old jobs, speaking of five NC. I mean, Ovi, what is happening in the world of the markets? Are we uh, are we still ripping or what? Like, is America still like? Is America still? In, oh wait, never mind. U.S. Close U.S. Today. markets are closed We're today, closed, but yeah. um. Good. Yeah, I mean, next week, this week is going to be another big week for ETF flows. Like, I saw a crazy, I don't know if, I wasn't, in all honesty, I wasn't listening to Michael, so, so sorry if he said this, but yeah. um, there was a stat that um, 50% of net inflows into BlackRock's ETFs have been just from the Bitcoin ETF, just from iBit. And that's out of 471 different ETFs that they have. Yeah. That's madness. That's mental. 50%. Uh, BlackRock's like one of the biggest ETF issues in the world across the entire global financial markets. And just think about how big that market is versus crypto, whereas the total market cap is like, you know, under the size of Amazon or wherever, or, or similarly, I don't know, we're higher now. But 50% of their flows, ETF yeah. flows, are from 
not even the total crypto market cap, just Bitcoin alone, which is just well, they're the gonna get paid for it. They're going to get paid for it, right? And they're getting paid for it. Fees. Like uh, all the other ones, that they don't get fees on. Um, wow. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, this week is quiet for macro. I, I was going to say the only big thing is NVIDIA. NVIDIA has got its earnings on Wednesday. Um, okay. And so all of this AI narrative, I mean, traditionally, NVIDIA absolutely smashes earnings every single time i don't think that will be different but it's really just how much they beat earnings and also um maybe everyone's just so bulled up into it anyway that like maybe we sell off just because it's a sell the room sell the sell the event um sort of a thing but yeah that their headline their their um earnings are on wednesday that's almost like an fomc for this sort of market like it's going to be big whatever happens there yeah well looking forward to that um for sure so we'll see what happens i'm still i still, i can't believe i still can't believe Sobi asked for 20 million dollars more from arbitrum i'm a loxley are you listening we, I'm a, <laughs> he asked for 400 that's what i that's what i saw <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just because i finally got access to my email and i'm looking at all the topics today and it's literally in there and it was there you started at 400 million yeah 200 is a 50 percent discount yeah i mean i can <laughs> i think i'm gonna put in a, a proposal there i only need like 100 mil so you can give me 50. M Mando, you muted. I don't know what happened. Just muted you. Uh, I'll put it into the, uh, the private chat. Look here. Um, they tweet it out. Look, Look. You, you can't. Oh, it's true. You can't spell rug radio without AI. So, um, you know, uh, and same for media. So I I think that on the those premises are enough for me to 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 to, to ask for for a little more here, I think. Um <laughs> I think we have grounds here. I think we have shout out to Arbitrum. Shout out to Arbitrum. Was just on with, with that team again on Friday. Hey, so I, put out, I put out the Zai. I put it in the private chat on the uh, on the stream yeah, house. Yeah, yes. Yeah. No, I saw. I saw the tweet. Um, they don't know where we've been working on Arbitrum. <laughs> Let's go, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> Zai buys. Let me answer. I just like seeing Zai buys every now. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, Zybys are in control. That's for sure. Uh, anyway, so I'd love to see that um, on uh, on the rest of. I mean, look, market report is good. Uh, let me see. Uh, we're gonna talk about more of these uh, gaming coins for sure because this is like just going crazy right now. But the big news, I'm gonna go to that now because I have I have Sam here anyways, so may as well. We had I forgot that happened, Sam, uh, on Friday. So on Friday we got uh, some news that uh, Yuga Labs. Uh, acquired proof, uh, which means that they've acquired like everything that comes with it, uh, including Punk 9059. Um, I heard he was a cherry on top. Uh, and then, so basically, that came out on Friday. Yuga Labs has acquired Proof XYZ, which includes Proof Collective, Moonburst, Mythics, Oddities, and Girls Exhibition Series for more information, yada, yada, yada. So that came out and obviously took X and every single platform by storm. Every single, you know, Twitter Spaces host. Uh, that didn't have anything to do on Friday, was on Twitter Spaces talking about it. That's for sure. Uh, including myself, I did join a couple of spaces. It was fun, some good combo. And then on Saturday morning, shout out to the coffee with Captain Crew. I got to give them some flowers there, but they really locked, They really shut it down on Saturday, uh, hosting, I think, a five or six hour long uh, Twitter Spaces uh, about the topic, which was then followed at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday night by like impromptu like sort of town hall. Um, that was announced and where, you know, I believe the CEO, Daniel Allegri, shot Daniel, great man, love him. Uh, and it seems like Garga uh, was on there, shot the Garga as well. And, and the Yuga team, Jeff Nicholas and everything was on there to discuss, uh, you know, what happens with that. Um, I guess first reactions here, because Mandovi, I, I didn't really get your reactions. And then Sam, obviously, like, you know, obviously playing around here, but curious to hear your thoughts here um, as much as you can share. But I'll go to Ovi first here. Ovi, what, what were your first thoughts when, when you found out? um about about the news yeah my initial reaction was like my initial initial reaction was probably the same as everyone else's it was like what the fuck like why <laughs> would they do this um after i thought about it some more it it's not the craziest thing in the world i mean look like yuga labs and proof had the same one of the same largest investors a16z so mm. i'm sure they have an interest to compile their investments it sounded like it was a stock for stock deal so there wasn't any cash that was actually spent by Yuga Labs and obviously Proof has a treasury which um, Yuga Labs now has access to or, or now it's part of you know this acquisition if you like it, I feel like it's less of an acquisition maybe more of a merger but um, yeah you have those things as well so you know when when Yuga Labs bought CryptoPunks back in 2022 the entire timeline was like oh my god this is the most amazing thing ever 
but you know they bought CryptoPunks probably at a very high valuation, pretty much at the top of the NFT market. And now they've purchased Proof two years later in 2024, not at the bottom of the NFT market, but probably at the bottom for those for two proof, projects. Probably too. Yeah, for Proof. And um, they didn't pay anything for it. Um, basically, they didn't pay any cash for it. And the whole time I was like, oh my God, this is a disaster. And if you look at those two different acquisitions side by side, I think the you know what they got for their money um, is probably much better value for proof than it is for um, than it was for CryptoPunks. Now, I understand if you're a board ape holder and you're, you've been frustrated but that there's been a lack of focus on that. And now you have another whole ecosystem that's added to um, the Yuga empire. You may feel like, oh, like I'm, you know, I'm, I feel like there's going to be even less focus. But remember, they've like, acquired the whole team and staff as well so it's not like you know you're gonna have you good people now work i mean i'm sure there'll be some synergies but you still have an existing proof team that's there and a moonbird team that's there who's going to be carrying on their their daily business but you just have a different owner for it now and you probably have a lot more synergies so all in all i actually think it's a good acquisition i think it's good for it's obviously i think very good for moonbirds i think it will be good for you ecosystem holders because stuff is already down quite a lot and yes maybe it could bleed a little bit more but i think you just have this massive like nft empire now um which is all part of the same thing and i think that can be powerful maybe we're not seeing exactly how quite yet but i think this will go down as one of their smartest moves in my opinion interesting i mean now they yuga can say they actually do own the collector's pfp the real one um <laughs> part of the part of the roster here um mando what were your first your first thoughts here on the, on this I didn't think it was, I thought it led to a very big reaction, which something that I didn't think was that Obviously. huge a deal for me. Um, I think, I don't know the details of the transaction, but um, A16Z is obviously, uh, is at the, um, is the lead investor. Both. Both. They, they led both, yeah, exactly. And the way that these deals are done is that A16Z, um, as with a lot of deals, um, you become preferred. So like you essentially become the, premier equity holder in that scenario. And I can imagine that put them in a lot of power in both those scenarios. And maybe this made a lot of sense. It's not, it's not uncommon for that sort of stuff to happen. Um, and I do think that the, the, the team that Yugo has put together in terms of the vision that they have now have and, and the experience they have with some of the, the top execs, like they probably could do a lot with, with that treasury as well. So I think they, um, they're definitely going to, um definitely opens up some possibilities i think the the obvious thing was like wow like board apes are down whatever it is uh 80 percent now um in in eth price since since that top and obviously that doesn't include all the airdrops and stuff but people are like well like how are we not focusing focusing um on the board our, our efforts on that but in some ways i think that that's not really like or you're not really understanding how how that transaction has really worked maybe it does actually bring allow them to have more focus back on the board apes with the with the, the capital that they have mm. they're obviously also launching this new marketplace um and if they can bring back uh, you know trading fees i think it could it changes the business again for them so the idea that they could have a new ip and potentially go new, new places with it i think could be interesting um but i can understand why i just kind of rub people up the wrong way like it's not exactly been um <clears throat> Not exactly been a great period for either of either of those two firms in terms of like public opinion. So um, uh, for one to try and to, to acquire the other one, if you didn't understand the economics maybe behind it, maybe it just feels like a just seems like a strange move. But yeah, I, I, I get it, and I actually think it could it can help. I, I think in my eyes, it probably helps. Um, it does help Moonbirds, but it also does help the, the board apes just with the with the treasury and the ability they can actually create a sustaining uh, company going forward um, with the with the IP they have. Yeah, I mean, look, you're right. We don't have details, but what we know is what Gargo wrote on the timeline, which is a stock deal. That was the information at hand. That was that was given. So, Sam, I mean, of course, um, I was playing around earlier. I, I read your thread, so you know both i know like i, I saw that you you're no longer a proof here but i don't know if you wanted to maybe like comment on that obviously we don't, we don't have to squeeze details out of you for that but how how did you how did you, how did you find out like how did you feel about the whole thing and 
I mean, I decided like six weeks ago that it was time to leave proof. So like I, I kind of already made that decision. And when Yugo was like a possibility, that's it just isn't kind of what I'm personally looking for right now in my career. So um yeah, so I I had already kind of long yeah, you know, I knew and I think everyone knew that that you know that there was talk about about the business being sold or something like that. And this the last thing I wanted to do was to like leave the company, create a FUD cycle, make me think, you know, the proof was always very, very good to me. And I appreciated them a lot. I appreciate Kevin a lot. And, and, you know, I, so, so th this just kind of worked out perfectly where it was like the announcement was made, like joining Yuga for me and my career didn't make sense for where I'm at right now. And it was just like a great time to be like, okay, time for me to, to try something different. So that was where I kind of landed. I think like, as far as the conversation goes, like I learned about, I learned about most of this the same way everyone else did. Like I heard about it the day before. Cause part of what I told them was like, Hey guys, like I want to, you know, I want to, I want to be able to get my comms lined up with the company. And they agreed to that. Cause you know, we, we had a good relationship. Um, when I heard about it, I had to sign a document that they stopped the call to sign a document that said I would be criminally liable Whoa. if me or anybody who I spoke with traded on this news. Uh, they would uh, actually like hung up the phone, go sign this doc you sign, and then we'll talk again. So people who think they don't take this seriously are wrong. Like take it exceptionally seriously. It doesn't mean a couple it's people. It's actually very tight at, at you guys. Like working with them, we we have had to sign NDAs. And yeah, they wouldn't even talk to me and I had to like sign right down. I am criminally liable if me or anybody I speak to trades on this news. Like it was, you were not, you were not going out and buying anything after having that phone call. Um, so <laughs> not with those know, attorneys, they're pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the question is like, are, you know, kind of to the point earlier, are they actually going to go after people, you know, because I don't think law enforcement cares about pixelated owls, but maybe you go would, but I, I, it doesn't sound like they will. Um, but my view is, look, I think like you have shareholders and you have NFT holders and they're very different and they have very different objectives. And I, I think this idea, yeah, like Yuga just got a very big balance sheet. They just got a lot of ETH uh, in exchange for, you know, the, the, it, and I think people were saying like, yeah, it feels like like it's a fundraising round of sorts. I think that there's a lot of truth to that. Like I can see why. So when people talk about dilution, I don't think it's financial dilution. I think it's mm -hmm. attention dilution they are worried about. I don't. I, I think people are saying, look, like MeBits haven't really benefited or had anything to do with board apes in any way, shape, or form. Why would this be different? And the onus is on Yuga right now to prove to people it'll be different. So, you, you know, it, it is one thing though that I, I've learned in this game is that when you have when you have VCs, when you have shareholders, there's just there are a couple different kind of workflows going on at the same time. Uh, and it, you know, I think. NFT holders need to stand up for themselves and, you know, because otherwise shareholders take priority. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that, I don't think this example was that. I don't think this example, I think this example makes sense for all sides. But I also think we have seen with MeBits that like MeBits and Board Apes kind of have nothing to do with each other. So it is on Yuga right now to show that they can make this result look different. Yeah, there's a lot of assets now, right? Uh, in that ecosystem when it comes to, to tokens. I'm not sure the amount, but I saw, I think it was easy and, Obviously, a bunch of people went and made lists of, of all the assets under now the 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 Yuga Labs umbrella. Um, so so that came out, and then it seems like uh, during the town hall yesterday that took place, sorry Saturday evening, in the in the swamp, uh, the the Discord, uh, the Yuga Board API Club, the account then posted this, uh, which was it says IRL. So it seems like this IRL clubhouse is actually really happening at this stage. Like there was rumors already; they kind of hinted at it already. So it's not like new news, but like. Now it's like, I mean, it's as direct as you can get here, in my opinion. <laughs> this literally says IRL um, while they're building out stuff. I Look. I mean, that should have been done years ago, right, in my right. opinion. I, like, go, literally, I, I cannot believe that that's taken that long. Like, I mean, if I was thinking carried about away how, a bit, right? With the other side stuff. But that's just, that's why just, like, I remember when Board Apes first came about, first came about, that's what everyone was kind of bullish on. I mean, they were British on mutants, but then it was like, right, we're going to get a fucking clubhouse in Miami. Like, this is going to be fucking epic. And then people were imagining kind of the Soho House or like the, you know, the global clubhouse model, which actually felt like it could work. Like, if you told me that there was one in Lisbon, there's one in Dubai, there's one in Miami, there's one in Singapore, there's one in LA, there's one in like all the crypto places around the world. Um, I think that's a business model. Yeah, I think that's that's that's, just, that's actually a business model which could make a lot of money, and they can do all the other other side stuff. Yeah. I think I think they did it the wrong way around, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, look, I I I, I don't want to assume, but I'm assuming that I don't want to say I don't want to say this is how it is, but I am personally assuming that Gordon 
leaving and a few other things and the focus on the other side, probably some focuses at the company were on different things. Um, it seems like even Gordon at some point when he wrote a tweet not long ago about like, it was a long form tweet saying how like he's been having a lot of meetings and like about the direction shift next if the company and how he pretty much laid it out on the board and, or whatever at, at Yuga, like how he wants to see it. It was not long ago. It was like December when he was like going on a spree of buying a bunch of shit. Like I remember Gordon saying something like that. So um, I think, uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see where the direction they take. What I, what I have to say, like, and I, I put a, a tweet out you know, this week, and I, 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 put, I still have my eight, right? And it's funny, not once did I think, like, oh, yeah, like, maybe this should go. If anything, like, I sold my old mutant or, like, some deeds, like, a few months ago. But I, I'm still very much bullish on, like, I think what BAYC as a brand and its holders can 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 do. Like, when you think of I think honing in on the clubhouse, Made by Apes is arguably one of the best things to happen to the board Apes, right? Because it allows to build on the IP and they do a lot of stuff. Like when we did our event with Yuga Labs in Korea, the Yuga Labs team was telling my team, like, yo, make sure there's space for the Made by Apes Korean like people to go and show what they're building, right? It was like stuff like that. Same thing. We did an event with them actually a year ago this week in Paris. And Rasputin is always like really about like making sure that like the ecosystem holders and the board Apes are like always prioritized. Um, and this is something that I can, I can say happens behind the scenes. Cause we do talk to you a lot. Right. So it's like, it's something that I see as someone who's professionally done work with them. So I'm not, I'm not really worried. How, how hype would you be that they did, they, no, they opened oh, up a uh, fucking, yeah. I, as, I as a holder, as a holder, I would go, I, I would hundred percent go. Yeah. You want one thing to fix the vibes of board apes. It's yeah. stop, start building in real life clubhouses. Tell yeah. like. It fixes it almost instantly if I, I mean, can go saw, to the city in the world weekend. and I can go to it. One tweet, one yeah. tweet that says IRL with a fucking graphic. It's not a graphic. Meme with the patch. Not the actual fucking thing. <laughs> you know the meme with the patch where you patch something on the leaky thing and then it's like that meme? <laughs> like, you know, it, you. It's, yeah. it, it would change the whole dynamic of people yeah. feeling like they're, they're being forgotten about if they, if you, if you started doing, um, if you started doing, uh, IRL clubhouses in different countries. Yeah. Look, we're not going to get more in details of stuff. There was some really good Twitter spaces hosted by some really good people over the weekend that really care. My two cents that I might take that I really got from this, Mandovia, because I listened late night. I was just like fucking around Friday night on these spaces with them. Like I was having fun. And like it was just really, or Thursday, I forgot what it was. It was Friday night. But just some of the board apes wanted to be heard more and thought that the direction was going towards less of a board ape centric. Uh, and more towards this, the global was like, oh, there's too many assets, and it seems like they f they fixed that yet. Well, not fixed that, but you know, uh, discussed all that yesterday. So that's that's what I saw. Uh, you know, we've been we've been part of the club for a minute. You know, so uh, I'm I'm not too too worried about their ability uh, to uh, to build something interesting here, uh, and we'll see what's gonna happen. Anyways, uh, in other news, and I'm gonna go to Agoria in a second because I see Agoria join us on Spaces. Uh, you should join us on video. It'll be even more fun if you want. I'll send you the link in the meantime if you want. But um, but what else did we have here that you had tied in? I mean, I think um, I think it was really just like oh, we talked about it, right? It's all the gaming coins. Uh, fuck, I keep saying I keep pushing the gaming conversations further, man. We, I need a night. I think one of these shows these weeks, I'm gonna make a proper just sixty minutes only on gaming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That way, um, for the people, I think will be interesting. But a lot of those are just going crazy. But you kind of alluded to that earlier. So I think we can go to Agoria here. Agoria! Agoria! Man of the minute. How are you? Nice to be with all of you. Ça va? How, how you Tranquille? Not too bad. I'm, I'm super excited to see most of you in Paris this week. Agoria, I see uh, I see you're doing some some crazy stuff here. Like, uh, it's the Musée d'Orsay. This is crazy. Yeah, we actually opened the exhibition uh, like last week on last last Tuesday, and uh, it's incredible because you know, Orsay Museum for me is one of the favorite um, museum ever. The architecture is fantastic, and of course, the piece they they, they are showcasing from Van Gogh, Monet, and all the impressionists and neo impressionists is incredible. So, well, I, I feel very lucky that they contacted me a year ago to to have a vision about. Um, what they what they display in the museum and to to give my touch to it and and to think about an idea to actually um, showcase it. So I hope like when you will visit this week you'll be happy. And we do actually a conference on Thursday 
um, where you all invited. And on, on Friday, there is a party in the nave of the museum. But the exhibition is, is open, um, of course, every day of the week. And uh, if you come here, we, you will enjoy a free live meeting. So uh, I think it's, it's worth to come just because it's not just a click on your phone and, and free live meeting. It's, it's actually a process. And I think the installation is, is worth it. So hopefully you guys will come to try it. That is uh that is that is really uh really cool. I was talking to Ilan this morning, um, and uh, he said that he went to see the the exhibit actually at the at the Musée d'Orsay. And one thing that he told me that was really special is like you have you know the Courbet and you have Rodin and then you have Agoria right there, you know, at the Musée d'Orsay, which mind you is one of the most important museums in the world. I go, like, how does this feel, man? As an artist, like, how, how do you feel about all this? It's much crazy. Uh, I mean, of course, I'm very humbled to be to be here. Like, it's it's not like fake modesty. It's it's real. Obviously, I spent many nights in the museum wow. uh, to prepare this, and I have to say, like, when you you're in this museum empty and, and you're surrounded by all these masterpieces, uh, you can actually feel the spirit of this uh, artist. And so, w what you you will experience is you will come to 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 the room of, of Sigma Lumina, and you will see a light actually moving around the sculpture. And the shadow of the sculpture will draw a QR code on the floor. And when you will see the QR code, you can scan it with your phone. And once you scan it, you will be asked to blow in your phone, to breathe into your phone. And while you will breathe uh, in your phone, then a piece will be drawn by your, by your breath. And you might be surprised to see what you're gonna see. So it's not just showcasing my art or show showcasing like uh, what I've did, done in the past. It's actually an experience where the act of of um, blowing will actually of breathing will actually um, um, unveil a, a special piece that it's actually close of my compendium series that uh, I did in the past and uh, as a reference of the artist of Orsay. So. Yeah, just try it, I think. And it's kind of magic. So hopefully you like it all. Wow. This is sick. Ovi, we gotta go check it out. Like I, I know you're a collector of, of of Agorias. Like we gotta dude. We need to go have a look. What day what days can we come? You can come every day. It's like okay. the exhibition is for is it lasts for a month. Okay. And and the the good thing is you can come back from home with a piece of actually authentic, authenticated by uh, our same museum. So it's like if you go to MoMA and you come back with Whoa. a piece of, of MoMA. And it's, it's of course, um, I think it's a, it's a great, it's not just a souvenir, it's like a real piece of art. And you can, you, you'll be able to mint it on FXH. Um, and even if you don't have a wallet in two clicks, we, we managed to actually do something quite smooth for everyone, even if you don't have a wallet here in this space. Uh, Today, everyone has a wallet, so it's not the question, but you can come with your friends, your family, anyone actually, and you can experience it and, and have this piece back home. Wow. That's incredible. I This is actually sick. What you're doing is so cool. And add the music also on top of that. I'm going to need to make time and go for sure, for sure. How does it, is it, is it, I know you talked about it for a second here, but you spend so many nights at the museum. Is it? Is it like, uh, it must be really crazy, no? Being alone in there. Yes, and most of all, when you're surrounded with people who actually uh, speak about the pieces, because like um, when you see a paint, there is such story behind it. And actually the narrative of a paint is changing over the years. So what an artist could have done maybe 150 years ago could change today in the perception of of what uh, is the society. And, and I love actually to see the perspective of the pieces like as, that are showcasing at the museum because it's it's really it's it's really deep actually. And and you know, so for example, the, the piece I'm doing with Gustave Courbet that I did with the scientist, uh, we did this with the uh, CEA, which is, it, it sounds crazy, but it's the Center Atomic Research in Paris and uh, with the, um, some biophysicists and, and, and few other scientists. Uh, we, we take uh, this piece of Courbet, which is the most magistrous piece of, of the museum, I feel. Uh, it's a huge piece. You will see it when you come to the party. And we decided to encode this piece into a genome and see how the living will move inside this, this paint. So um, wow. th this is a kind of incredible thing. And 
I'm very thankful about the museum because the museum helped me to to achieve all these ideas and and you know just they were like <laughs> very receptive. I, I would think like I said maybe you go too far here or maybe no they were actually so happy that you know I questioned this and give her the light of nowadays technologies on on these incredible paints. So yeah, hopefully hopefully you'll you, you'll come and see that. Definitely gonna 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 come. And and check this out. This is super cool. I can't wait to see it. Agoria, congratulations again, and uh, can't wait to see you in Paris. Please, all, all welcome. Can't wait to see you. Allez, on se voit à Paris alors. À très bientôt. Uh, tu... Easier for me in France. Thank you so much, guys. Allez, ciao. Ciao, Agoria. Ciao, oh ciao. man, that's uh, that's. Cool. Oh, you still have a, few, a bunch of pieces, no? Oh, you muted. Excuse me. Uh, so... Yeah, I have a, I have a bunch of uh, uh, a bunch, a few pieces actually. I have quite a few. The ones where you get royalties on them. Ooh, yeah. those are cool. Those are yeah. cool. Those are really cool. Thank you, Agoria. Yeah, merci. Huh? Sorry, we're on video at the same time. That's why I thought you thought I was asking you the question. Oh, I didn't <laughs> know they were a video. Oh, no, great. No, no, no. It's like Mondo OSF. We're here. We're oh, OSF. wow, OSF. Hey. 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 I didn't know. Hey, wow. Merci. Hey, Agoria, <laughs> you coming, are you coming to the Rec Drinks launch party on Thursday night at Le Carmen? Of course. How could I miss it? Allez, allez. Don't Hopefully we we'll start. Hey. Dude, I can't wait to go full French starting tomorrow morning. Oh, my God. Can <laughs> you say Champs-Élysées for us again? Champs-Élysées. Yeah. Oh, Champs-Élysées. Na, 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 na. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, Agoria, thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate you. My love pleasure, guys. Friend, Thanks. La famille. See you, bro. Thank you. Thanks for having thank me. Bye-bye. Thank you. Appreciate it. Man, this is super cool. Honestly, the Musée d'Orsay, like now in, in like in like getting involved in like digital art and everything is sick. NFTs, crypto, like it's crazy. You can breathe into this like thing and it creates a piece of art for you. And then you can be able to like mint on FX hash on Tezos from the museum. To me, this type of shit is crazy. Uh, honestly, Musée d'Orsay is really, 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 really big museum. It's a big deal, uh, y'all. And shout out to Bright Moments, actually. I saw they were, they had the footprint on a lot of this stuff happening. Shout out to Seth at Bright Moments, his co-founders, and the people behind that, because they are cooking. I saw a ton of Bright Moments events uh, being shared. Man, I can't wait for Paris. Let's give this money away so I can get out of here. I just want to go to the airport. I fly at 8 p.m. tonight. I could go to the airport right now. I... <laughs> If there was a flight in an hour to go to France, I would get on it right now. I cannot wait uh, for Paris. I need, dude, my, that's my hometown right there. I love it. Anyways, OSF, Mando, Sims, let's give away, let's give us some money away. Sims, I'm bringing Sims on. What's up, Sims? Let's give 250 bucks away. Let's give someone $250 right now. Let's go. If okay. you're in the audience, I'd love it if you brought up since one time and he was just doing something like I know, right? I actually random. didn't expect that one time. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know, like completely. You know what I like doing? I like bringing people up when, when <laughs> I can see the studio, right? I like bringing people up when they like they don't know. Like I just I don't know. Um, I'm gonna. That's why I usually keep my camera turned off so I don't get caught like that. Yeah, but then you get all this nice lighting and everything. You get the SM7B, which, by the way, looks like the boys mm. got new microphones this week. Um, <laughs> Oh my god, it's so funny. ETH is 2917, boys. <laughs> Holy <Nice>. fuck. <sighs> Dude, are we gonna go to a conference with price going up? Knock on wood. Please, if you're listening to me up there, a conference where the price goes up would be crazy, bro. Just as a reminder, tomorrow we're hosting, the lads will be hosting. I don't think I can. Wednesday we're hosting, but Thursday and Friday, there's no show. No show. What that means that Wednesday we're gonna rip so many fucking loot boxes. We're just gonna rip twenty thousand dollars worth of loot boxes on Wednesday, right? Fuck it. Let's do it. Um, yeah, let's do it. All right, Sims. Let's see it. Let's see which one. So, just a reminder: we're about to pick someone to win two hundred fifty dollars on the show. We did say we're gonna give money out every day, so we'll give money out every day. Why not? Why not? Let me see how that long is doing. Let me get Bernie up. I'm going to bring Bernie up now for the giveaways. He makes me laugh. <laughs> All right. Let's see who wins this $250 before we take off to front. We are good to go, sir. All right. Let's spin the winner. Is... Oh, it's a little pudgy. What's his username? Crimson, Crimson Day Art. Crimson Day Art. Crimson Day Art. If you're here, you have 60 seconds to request to speak. If not, 
We're going to reroll and give your $250 away to somebody. Oh, no, 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 no. Crimson Day Art. Crimson Day Art. You are sporting a little pudgy. A little, little cute pudgy. Make sure you come in from a phone on mobile and make sure that you come on Twitter Spaces, FOMO Hour. And, of course, make sure you all follow FOMO Hour because we're going to keep uh, – as long as Robit keeps sponsoring us, we're going to keep giving you guys money away. <laughs> That's that's what we're gonna do, and I think they're happy. I think they're happy so far. We got some positive feedback from Razor this weekend. We'd love to see that. So we're gonna keep it going. Crimson, oh there he is, there he is. The sixty second rule never disappoints, uh, never fails here. Crimson Day Art, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh hello, congratulations! You won two hundred fifty dollars. Woo! Thank you. Hell yeah! What's great news? What are you gonna do with the money? Don't know. Don't know. Hey, we heard that. We heard that. Who's whispering? <laughs> you guys hear that? We heard that. <laughs> I heard that. You guys hear that? Yeah. <laughs> that was oh, the funniest man. thing in the world. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> 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 okay, well, Crimson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's so funny. You are welcome to do whatever you want with that two hundred fifty dollars because it's yours. So just make sure that you make a robot account, and we're gonna have Burn Dog on this stage here on the Spaces reach out to you and uh, and send and credit you two hundred fifty dollars today. So congratulations, Mando OSF. Hey. That you're very welcome. You're very welcome, but Mando OSF Sims. I will see all of you in Paris. I cannot wait. And with that, with that, with that, we will see you all tomorrow morning, 10 to a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3.30 p.m. So whatever standard time that is. I'm done saying Pacific Coast because that, that, that time zone does not exist in my life. Um, in Paris, au revoir.